Welcome back to Hawkeye Skunkworks. I'm Joe, and in this episode, we've got a problem with the Forerunner. Uh, to be fair, I actually have a problem with the Jeep, too, which is out of shot right there. Um, and that problem comes from I've been spoiled by my Explorer, and that problem is lack of storage. Now, um, I, I kind of talked about this on my Things I Love About My Explorer video. That thing has a ton of storage because, as you guys all, I'm sure, carry just as much stuff as I do, toolkits and recovery gear and first aid kits and jumper cables and stuff like that, um, even just on a, a normal basis, it's kind of annoying. This does have a storage compartment uh, on the back on the passenger side. I figured I would just go ahead and uh, show you guys some of the storage in the back. So you can see here, this is a panel that pops off. And this is uh, kind of like my emergency kit with a bunch of stuff in it, like I was saying earlier. First aid kit there. Um, and then uh, you can see you've got the uh, factory bottle jack there, and then you kind of can't see that I've got, um, there's a tool roll here with the stuff for the jack and the lug wrench. Uh, this is just access to the taillight bulbs. I usually keep my jumper cables in there, a ratchet strap in there, or um, I'll throw the jumper cables over here and throw my first aid kit over there. It's just, it's whatever I have and I can fit. What I would like to do is come up with a storage spot for things that I'm not gonna use all the time, like jumper cables, my jack, um, and possibly a couple other little odds and ends. And I think I found the perfect solution right underneath the hood. Let's take a look. Here is the, uh, this is the passenger side, and again, this is the V6. The V8, this is, pr I don't think this is gonna work, so I think there's some stuff over here. So this is the fender well, that's just uh, sheet iron. There's nothing um, underneath it. And we've got, a, I mean, here's, there's a welding glove for reference. There's a ton of space in there. Just enough space for your friend and mine, the ammo can. Um, so I thought about a lot of different things that I could put in here, toolboxes or um, stuff like that. I wanted something that was gonna take heat um, hot and cold, being under the hood, you know, exhaust is right there. Something that was watertight and cheap, strong, durable. So, of course, everyone's got ammo cans. And uh, it fits perfectly. It's just setting in there right now. I'm going to pop it back out and we'll take a look. I'd also like to say just uh, briefly, this is not going to, in the end of this video, this is not going to be the final installation of this. And we'll talk about that again. But... I kind of wanted to post this not 100% done because I want to hear what you guys think about um, improvements or uh, modifications I could do to make this setup even better. Right here, um, you can see I've got some Sharpie lines outlining the size of the, uh, the ammo can. And all I did was I drilled two quarter inch holes there in there and in the back there's this other hole so I drilled the holes in the ammo can first in the front for those two quarter inch holes and it fits really well the only snug part is this wiring harness back here but it you've got plenty of play you can just kind of push that back just a little bit and uh, yeah, it, it sits in there really, really well. Um, in the back, I've got um, this. This, I'm, I had this kicking around. I think this is a, uh, a spacer for a shock bushing or maybe some for a steering stabilizer. I'm not 100% sure, but this fender washer on top of that big hole in the back and then that on top and then a hole through it seems to hold all that in place and I all the hardware I have is kind of not fantastic I'm gonna go buy some stainless hardware and I'm also gonna get um, some washers that have um, rubber on the back of them to use inside to help make this uh, watertight and I, I need to paint everything that I that I, all the bare metal as well but that being said um, again this is not gonna be the final 
the final installation. I want to kind of put it in there, see how it rides, see how it goes. Um, I do want to beef up the back mounting points. What I want to do, I'd like to get some uh, one by um, steel stock and about six inches long and weld two pieces on the back here and at the bottom kick the feet out, drill a hole in each one, um, just bend them so that they will match the contour of this inner fender and drill and bolt it in that way. I think that'll be a lot sturdier but um, like I said I'm gonna grab some different hardware um, and for the final, well pre-final installation um, and then once I get some steel stock I'll probably you know, grind that down, weld it onto the box, drill a couple more holes and, and really solid mount that in there. I thought about putting another battery in there but I don't really have a need for one. Um, I am going to invest in a good deep cycle for the one that's in here and I think that should that should do everything that I, I have a need for. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Let me, uh, I'm going to put that in there and I'll throw some jumper cables in it and stuff and show you guys just kind of how it fits and how it opens. And there it is set in there a little bit better. Um, you can see we've got plenty of space here for the strut to close. Um, I probably will end up taking the handle off and this other little handle down here because I, I would imagine these are going to rattle quite a bit going down the road. Um, and I may have to shave a little bit of this. It's very close to the uh, this intake elbow, but it, it's not not hitting it so much that it can't be opened. Um, try and pop this open. And again, I've got, uh, so I just real quick, I threw a half inch ratchet in there, um, ratchet strap, a, a big socket for an axle, um, jumper cables. Now, I realize right now there's not enough room for a bottle jack, but when we're traveling as a family, I usually don't carry jumper cables. I carry a jumper pack, which I need to show you guys now that I think about, because it's awesome. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. This is going to be a really, really solid addition in there. What do you guys think? Should I paint it black? Should I paint it to match the truck? Should I leave it green? I'm thinking green. I couldn't really get a good shot of this with the can in place, but you can see the spacer there. Um, it's just acting as a riser, a support for that can. So there's the two bolt holes in the front, and then there's that one in the back. I also had another idea when I was thinking about jack storage um, underneath the hood, not in the box, but let me show you guys so you can tell me what you think. Now either for the factory uh, bottle style jack or even a an aftermarket or you know Harbor Freight or Sears bottle jack, um, I have all this space right here next to the uh, the power steering reservoir behind the headlight right here where a bottle jack would fit perfectly now i know for you know for decades you know everyone used to store you know manufacturers used to store jacks underneath the hood and so i'm thinking if wondering if there's something i could figure out to have a bracket to just bolt a jack underneath here and that would eliminate space for more tools or whatnot in there and it would eliminate stuff um, from the storage areas in the back. So just an idea. Um, what do you guys think about putting a jack there? Uh, so what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I tried to keep this super simple because I figured we've all got ammo cans. You need a drill. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, your hardware store, get some of that steel stock. And you wouldn't even have to weld them on. Um, you could just bolt them on. Uh, fourth gen guys, also let me know about um, fire extinguisher mounts, um, where you've got those really securely mounted. I really don't want a fire extinguisher coming loose, bouncing around and hitting one of my kids in the face. So, um, other than that, I think we'll wrap the video up. Uh, hit me up if you are looking for some Hawkeye Skunkworks merch or sticker. Head on over to the Spring Teespring store, uh, link down below. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are growing like crazy, in my opinion, and I'm loving every minute of it. You guys are commenting more and more, and I'm interacting with you all, and it's, it's awesome. Um, hit the subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit the no notifications. All of that really helps the channel out and really does make a difference and 
it's easier for us to grow and show cooler stuff like this. So we'll wrap up the video now. Again, thanks for checking us out. Email me, hawkeyeskunkworks at gmail.com. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye.